Who doesn't enjoy listening to a captivating tale? When the state of the world seems to be getting worse, it's a good idea to take refuge in the reassuring fiction that can be found in books, movies and video games. It is important to keep in mind, however, that a great deal of fantastical fiction has been motivated in one way or another by actual occurrences, both minute and monumental. Some myths and legends have even been proven to be accurate with the truth often surpassing even the most fantastical accounts. So let's take a deep look into these myths that turned out to be true. The City of Troy As one of Greek mythology's most renowned locales, the City of Troy has been the subject of numerous cinematic depictions over the years. Everyone is familiar with the legend of the Trojan horse and the epic battle between Achilles and Prince Hector of Troy, in which the former was mortally wounded. The story has all the elements of a fantastic myth, making it hard to believe any of it is true. Although the story of the Trojan horse is rife with holes, after all, no great warrior was probably practically invincible except for a weak ankle, Troy was in fact a relocation. In the 19th century, the German archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann found what he believed to be the remnants of the old city of Troy in what is now Hisarlik in Turkey. His use of dynamite in the digging was not the most rational approach, and it is probable that many priceless artifacts were destroyed in the process. For millennia, Hisarlik was thought to be the site of Troy from Homer's The Iliad despite the widespread belief that it was just another city with a similar name. A major challenge in locating it is that the city was frequently destructed and then reconstructed on top of the wrecks, making accurate identification difficult. There is proof for at least 10 cities on the same site, any one of which could have been called Troy. Giant Squid Myths about monsters and gigantic beasts are among the most difficult to consider. It's highly probable that legends of Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster and El Chupacabra originate in fantasy. The giant squid was one monster that was long believed to be nothing more than the fantastical visions of seafarers, but was later proven to be very much real. The maximum length reported for a giant squid was 33 feet and its maximum weight was over 400 pounds. The longest and heaviest specimen found was 59 feet long and weighed nearly a ton. There have been tales of these creatures for centuries, but it wasn't until 2004 that photographs proved they were authentic. A live sample, albeit a fairly tiny one at 24 feet, was captured and returned to the surface two years after Japanese researchers first photoed this type of behemoth. The city of Tenea. It's possible that you're familiar with Tenea if you're familiar with the legends and background of Troy. It is said that the Trojan captives of war constructed Tenea and were given it by King Agamemnon. If Troy didn't really exist, then the city its inmates constructed might as well be made up. This location, however, seems to have existed as well, according to historic excavations. Eleni Korka, a Greek archaeologist, located the legendary city of Thebes, where Oedipus and others are said to have lived. It was a huge and prosperous city that stood between Corinth and Mykonae, but it mysteriously disappeared. Archaeologists have searched since 1984. Locals found an undiscovered sarcophagus, so the quest naturally began. By 2010, Corker was operating with police to stop traffickers from plundering the region, which still hadn't been correctly unearthed. Pillaged monuments confirmed the city existed, and she was allowed to delve in 2013. Since then, more sarcophagi, coins, roads and relics have been found. The Seven Pagodas of Mahabalipuram In the legends of Mahabalipuram, seven shrines stand on the coast of a huge and stunning city. Six of them are said to be buried under the waves, while the seventh has been found for a long time and has been designated a World Heritage Site. 
In truth, it was so stunning that the deity became envious and unleashed a flood to wipe it out. This seems like something out of a fantasy book. Things were going smoothly until the tsunami hit. An earthquake and successive tsunami in the Indian Ocean retreated the coastline near India's Mahabalipuram Monastery in 2004, uncovering the city's remains. A big stone lion from the 7th century was the most important discovery immediately following the tsunami. It was unclear if the site had been a port city or a chapel. However, a tsunami is blamed for the initial destruction of the premises. All these myths have been confirmed by science. Do you think these myths were real? Share your views in the comments and hit the like and subscribe buttons.